Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to copy one player from one roster to another with the Redditor. It is possible to do this with the free version um, with, uh, without having to purchase an additional license for players that are not created players. Um, if you have a created player you are going to need to be able to edit the head shapes tab. So let's go ahead and open up the NBA E roster which is a uh, celebrity roster made for the Xbox which I ported down to the um, PC version. Let's look up Drew for a last name because what I want to bring over is Uncle Drew the uh, character played by Kyrie Irving in quite possibly one of the best NBA commercials there are. So simply to bring Uncle Drew into a different roster all you essentially have to do is press control control and click his ID right here. You can then go control C to copy it. And then essentially you can open up a different roster. Let's say my blacktop roster. Go to a, let's sort that, ID that's not being used. And paste him in right there. Just like that, Uncle Drew is now in this roster. Now, what I showed you was not actually free. I have both these rosters open at the same time. So technically, you'd have to close, if with the free version, you'd have to close this roster first and then open up my blacktop one to bring that over. Alternatively, you can also open up OpenOffice Calc or Excel and paste in the information right here. But then you can run into issues with some of the parameters not showing up correctly. Like over here, these uh, numbers and stuff can screw up for colors and other things. That is a quick and dirty easy way to do it. Now let's say in this roster which is you know amazing and I mean iPod King Carter, um, all the guys is uh, my career players, Mr. T, all those people, let's bring over the man himself, me. Fly fat boy fly, Joust me. So again simply go to the players tab copy it, bring it over here to a spot that's not being used, paste me in, ta-da, I am now in this blacktop roster instead of the uh, entertainer whatever roster. Now the difficulty with this is that since this, pr since this player is a created player and has a created face, which you can tell by finding the generic face, come on, where are you? There you are. Um, value is a 1 instead of a 0. Now, <coughs> the problem with this is that I'm not using a Cyberface ID. It's instead referencing the Head Shapes tab for the structure of, this, of my player's face. To find out in the Head Shapes tab which one of these people is me, you have to go and check out the HS ID, which is not visible right here CF ID portrait ID head shape ID so go ahead and find that one for me 1436 so making sure you're in this thing you want to make sure you go to the head shapes tab and you go scroll down to you find 1436 right here so this is the data the person who created this roster gave to my players face so I control click here to select it all, control C to copy it, go over to the blacktop roster or copy it to um, Excel if you need to, because remember it's a paid add-on to be able to have multiple things open at once. Go over here to the blacktop, go over to head shapes, go down to 1436 again because it's still going to try to find my head shape in that slot, 1436, paste it in, and now my player will actually show up in this roster. Again, with created players, if you don't want to pay anything, the easiest way to do this is probably to upload them to uh, 2K Share and then download them in the other roster that you want to have them in. But this is actually something that you can use to open up your My Career file. And if you don't want to use, like, for, you know, I know for in blacktop mode you can still select your My Career player, but this way you can use them in any mode you want to. So let's just go ahead and find me. In this, search down, there I am, control click to copy it out, go to my blacktop roster, and paste me in right there. 
And then my My Career, I am using a Head Shape ID. Ooh, I went all the way over. Real. Head Shape ID of 1200. Go over to Head Shapes, which again, remember, this is a, a license tab, you have to pay for it. Go down to 1200, select that, go back to Blacktop, go to Head Shapes, scroll to 1200, one more. Click, paste, done. And now my Chow Sming and John Smith uh, players I transferred over will have their correct facial structure that, the, that was created for them as well as the correct hair type and everything else. So <coughs> it's much easier with players that have Cyberface IDs, but it's still possible to do with players who have a generic creative player face. Hope this helped. I hope you learned something. If you uh, need more help, feel free to get at me in the comments. Check out the All Tutorials link in the description for more tutorials. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video.